do you have a long list of tasks, to-dos, ideas, and even the thought of trying to organize everything and figure out what to do next. If you've ever read or even just heard about the book called Getting Things Done by David Allen, he developed a personal productivity system called the Getting Things Done method that deals with exactly this problem. So I'm going to take that method and I'm going to show you how you can use ClickUp to create a task management system using the GTD method. So first of all, let's just quickly go through the GTD method so you know exactly how it works. So it consists of five steps. Capture, so that's collecting tasks, reminders, ideas, and everything in between. Process, so you review each item and figure out what it is. Organize, so that's putting everything in the right place. Reflect, so that's reviewing regularly. And do, which is take the action. It's very straightforward. So let's take this information and create a system. All right, so I am in my ClickUp now and I'm going to, first of all, create a space. And that space is going to be called GTD dashboard. And now I can add an avatar. I'm going to add a little inbox icon and the color could be this one. Make it private. And we're going to leave the statuses like this at the moment. Now, when it comes to click caps, I would turn email off, multiple assignees, because I'm the only one using this space. So time tracking, custom fields, priority, time estimates is turned on. And the default will just be the list view. Now, underneath the space, we're going to create a few lists. So the first list will be called the inbox list. Second one will be called projects. The third list will be called references. The fourth list will be called tasks. And I'm also going to add a Sunday maybe list. All right, now, before I do anything, I'm going to auto save everything. So I'm going to go to the space, auto save it. I'm going to go to the inbox, auto save it, and then basically repeat this for every single new list space, list or space that I've created. And we want to favorite this. So if you click this button here, it'll appear up here and you want to access it easily. So I'm just going to add a few ideas, tasks, reminders, anything. Anything that comes to my mind, I'm just gonna add a few things. Now, I've added some things here. Now we're gonna customize the fields. So if you click the plus button here, this is the f these, these are the fields that are showing up right now. So first of all, I'm going to remove assignee because honestly, I do not need it. The next thing you do is you're gonna create a custom field using the drop down option and we're going to call this clarify now these are going to be the options task project someday references reminder you can add colors as well here so i'm just going to quickly do that now i've added colors to it as well and i'm going to add the column there we go, now it's here and you can just choose the option. All right, the next custom field I'm going to create is the energy rating. So basically how much energy does each thing take from me? So I'm going to call it energy. I'm gonna make it max three and I'm going to use the battery emoji. 
and add column. And then the priority and the due date stay as well. And I'm also going to add the time estimate. And this field can only be used if you have the click app enabled for the space. So I'm going to organize them in the right order. The first thing is going to be clarify. Clarify, I want it to be the closest. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to add automations. So I click here, add automation and this is how I do them. So first of all, for the projects list here. So when custom field changes, and our custom field is going to be clarify, from any to project, then move to list projects and create. And there we go. Now to create a second automation, you just click here and it's going to be pretty much the, exactly the same. So when custom field changes, which is the clarify custom field from any to references, then move to list, you guessed it, references, create. And you do that for the tasks list and the someday maybe list as well. Now we're going to exit out. And as you can see, there are four automations active at the moment. All right. So once that is done, we are going to add a description for the lists. I already have the descriptions pre-made, so I'm just going to copy and paste them, but I'm going to show you where to add them. So the reason for these descriptions is just to literally give a quick explanation to each list. So if I hover over to inbox and go to the side here, it says add a description. I'm going to click it and then this pops up and then you can write whatever you want. You can get some commands as well, but I'm just going to copy and paste because I already have it written down, but this is basically what I would write. So explaining, okay, is it actionable, not actionable? in the inbox and then what to do with it. And this just basically explains, okay, you're in the inbox, which is the first step. All of these things that you have here, the first question you should ask yourself, are they actionable or not actionable? And then what to do with them if they are actionable or not actionable. Then you're gonna exit out. And then I'm going to do the same for these lists as well. I'm gonna scroll down to the tasks area, add description, and paste. The next question I'm gonna ask myself is, can it be done in less than two minutes? If the answer is yes, then I'm going to add a red priority flag. I'm gonna show you how to do this later, so don't you worry about that at the moment. We're gonna exit out, and then I'm gonna add a description to the projects as well, but not the references or someday maybe list, because I don't think that is needed at the moment. And now I want to put the lists within the GTD dashboard in the right order. And this is how I'm going to do it. So you're going to sort them here. So as you can see now, the inbox is first, then are the tasks, then the projects, someday maybe, and references. So that's the order that I would recommend to put them in. Now we're going to try to use this dashboard. So basically this is what I do. I have loads of things going on here in the inbox. So first of all, let's just pick uh, this for example, wash dishes. All right, is this actionable or not actionable? Well, washing dishes is actionable. So I'm gonna go here, look down. Okay, does this require one step or multiple steps? So washing dishes is one step. So that is going to be a task. So I'm going to go to clarify and I'm going to select it as a task. It's going to go from the inbox down to the tasks list. Clean bathroom. It's actionable and requires one step. So it's a task. Organized closet. Task. Batch three videos. Now that requires, it's actionable, but it requires a lot of steps. So that is going to be a project. Bet's birthday, that's just kind of like a reminder. So I'm going to add it as a reminder. Then this is just like a clothing website that I wanted to save. So I'm going to add that to references. There's not, I don't need to do anything about it. It's just a reference. Then this is an action. 
and it's a task. This is also just a recipe that I added with a link within the description. Nothing specific, so it's going to be a reference. And so on and so on, so I'm just going to quickly do that. And now we're going to move down. And now the second step is going to my tasks list. And I have quite a few tasks here, so we need to just sort everything out. Now, the first question is, can it be done in less than two minutes? Now, washing my dishes, this will take me less than two minutes because I do not have pretty much any dishes at the moment. So I need to do that as soon as I'm done organizing all of this. So I'm going to set a red priority flag because that's what I've added to my notes here. Next is cleaning the bathroom. Does this take less than two minutes? For me, it does not. I'm going to set the first subtask, which could be, for example, wipe down mirror in the bathroom. And for this, I'm going to schedule it for Wednesday, let's say. And let's say the priority can be high for Wednesday. And I can even add an energy rating. I can also add a time estimate. For me, it's going to be a quicker clean, so it's going to be 10 minutes. That's one task done and clarified. If you want to delegate something, you can add a tag. I've already added a tag. And I'm just going to do the same thing with the other tasks. Alright, so now I've moved on from the tasks and basically I just have this little to-do list here. And since you have multiple days here, what I recommend doing is also sorting everything. So uh, first of all, I sort it by due date, like this. So today's tasks will be on the top and then the tasks later, latest in the week will be in the bottom. You can also sort it by priority, which is what I prefer doing as well, or you can sort it by energy. But if you have a lot of tasks, which it will pile up eventually, then it is very helpful. And when it comes to the projects, it really depends how big the project is. You can use this and then create a separate list within a folder in the space that will have the title of the project or you can just have it as a task here and just add a lot of subtasks and sub subtasks to it and it really just depends on you but you can also add a due date what's the estimated length but yeah there are a lot more steps required when it comes to planning a project and i actually have a video on how you can break down a big project into small little steps within clickup and i'll link that on the screen as well as in the description box now when it comes to the someday maybe i don't have any tasks or things here at the moment but yeah they will come up here you'll just Look at this list every once in a while and see if you have extra time in a week to spare to finally do this or sometimes they'll just end up in the trash and if you want to delete something you can just click the three dots here and then click this button here and then the references are just whichever you can categorize them label them so it really depends and if you don't want to see the references in your space at the moment you can just click this button here this arrow and it's hidden. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments if you've ever read Getting Things Done Before. Now, if you have set goals for yourself this year, but you're not really feeling confident about reaching them, I have a free guide called The Five Ultimate Steps to accomplish your goals and beat overwhelm with clear direction. And it has a few planning mistakes added onto it as well because I want to make you aware of what common mistakes you can avoid when planning long term and planning for your goals. And if you would like to know more about how to use ClickUp to plan and organize your personal and work life, I have a playlist for that. 
and it has a lot of tips and different things you can do and different ways you can plan with ClickUp because it's also a tool that I really, really love. So I want as many people to use it as possible because it's honestly so versatile. I hope you have a productive week and I will see you next time. Ciao.